Hi, I'm Ryan Malinage, Creative Director at Brand New. Today I'll be using the paintbrush tool and live paint bucket in Adobe Illustrator to create a dynamic illustration. So, I'm going to add a few extra lines to my illustration. From my toolkit, I'll choose my paintbrush and start drawing on my sketch. To help myself to create nice smooth lines, I'll double click the tool and up the fidelity up to smooth so my lines don't come up as jaggedy as it just did. Adobe Illustrator is helping me to make my illustration much, much smoother and nicer, which helps my freehand a lot more. Um, I could do this with a Bezier curve, but that would be a lot more complicated and this is just nice and easy. I will smooth out some of these points by using direct selection tool, zoom in, clean up the points so they nicely line up together. Here I've got uh, a few colors that I really like and I'll add them to my swatches as a custom color group. From the right hand side, I'll choose swatches, highlight my colors and click the third icon from the right, which says new color group. Upon clicking the button, I'll just name them colors. I can add new color group with ease. To help us to recolor our artwork really quickly, we're gonna use Live Paint Bucket. I'll select the rectangle tool and draw a shape all around my artwork. It's important because Live Paint needs edges to draw within. Then click on the selection tool, highlight the whole artwork, and then clicking on our Live Paint Bucket. As you can see, it turned the whole artwork into a Live Paint object. Next, I just go to my swatches and choose colors really quickly to all of my objects that I would like to use in my artwork. One by one, I can assign the colors and see how my artworks come into life. Now the artwork's finished, we'll lose the black outline around each object by de-clicking the black outline in the color palette on the left hand side. 